Hey, good morning. So I have this Drillmaster 4.8 volt cordless screwdriver set. I saw this in their store for a long time and never was really interested in it until I started buying some of their other products. So it's a low end version of this Bauer tool. The Bauer tool is four volts. This is 4.8 volts, roughly equivalent, uh, but the same concept. Low torque, low speed, great for electronics. So I thought I need to try it. I seem obsessed with uh, screwdriver sets and tools for electronics and 3D printers. Uh, so let's take a look at it. Okay, so to me this is a little beefy. I would have liked a smaller case, but this is most certainly okay. uses a unique uh, directional selection. If you press the bottom, it goes one way. If you press the top, it goes the other way. Unique, but okay. I mean, to be honest with you, it's a little innovative. 180 RPM. The Bauer is 180 RPM. So I'm thinking they might be close to the same product. They're close to the same thing. They can't be that different. Of course, this one costs five dollars. Uh, the Bauer costs fifteen. It's item five six five four four. So it has a charger, and the charger should be seven volts. And there is the charging port. It comes fully charged. And it contains a NICAD battery, so you gotta know how to use a NICAD battery. You should let it run down all the way, and you should plug it in for about six hours, and disconnect it after that. If you don't, if you leave these on the, if you leave a NICAD battery on the charge after it's fully charged, it actually starts degradating the performance. So the performance gets worse. If you charge it before it's fully run down, it, the batteries will develop a memory. And that memory will keep you from getting full performance out of the battery. It won't fully discharge in the future or it won't fully charge in the future. So NICADs require a lot of management. I've actually been going through replacing my NICAD batteries and tools like this with uh, lithium ion or nickel metal. The Bauer is a lithium ion. So it comes with four bits two size Phillips two sides flat tip so the bits you use a magnet I like that it's a pretty strong magnet it's a nice tool it's perfect for electronics 180 rpm is slow it's not going to have a lot of torque I like that. That's what you want in electronics. You don't want to over torque all your screws with electronics. You don't want to cam it out either. You can tear something up. I wish that came on when the tool came on, but I like this tool. Uh, I get a lot of use out of tools like this. I'll put one by the 3D printer, I'll put one by my radios, one on my repair table. Uh, I have a lot of uses for things like this, especially with electronics. It's a cheap tool, but you'll get a lot of use out of it. It's well worth the price you pay for it for the amount of use you'll get out of it. you got to manage the NICADs. As long as you know that, that's okay. I think that's probably why they came up with the Bauer to put the lithium-ion in it. Lithium-ion is good, but the chargers are a lot more complex. Okay, it's not a big thing with this, but I've got four bits, and I've got a screwdriver. No place to put the bits. Of course, I've got a lot of bits, so... I wouldn't count on these four, but it would be kind of nice if it had an attachment or something to put the bits on. A surprisingly thick manual for such a small tool. I think they spend most of the time telling you what you shouldn't do with it and telling you how it works. Just like any tool you buy, these exploded view diagrams are good to have. You should keep these, but if you don't want to, go to Harbor Freight's website. And they have all current manuals easily available. Uh, if you go to my website, snaphole.com, you'll find all Harbor Freight manuals.
whether they're in production or not. So if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.